Have you ever been camping and wished you could just plug your electric blanket into a battery? Here in this video, I'm gonna show you what happens when you plug an electric blanket into a battery the size of a motorcycle battery. We'll explore how long it keeps warm and how warm does it get. We'll also use a thermal camera to see exactly what's happening visually. After this video, you'll be able to decide if you wanna bring your electric blanket camping next time. So we'll start with a fully charged battery at 13 volts, but we can't let it go down below 12 or it'll damage the battery. And because an electric blanket runs on house current, we're gonna use a 400 watt inverter to bring it up to 110 volts house current so we can run this blanket. Now we're gonna periodically disconnect the battery to verify that we're not going below 12 volts and damage the battery. So any time that the battery's disconnected, I'll subtract that from the overall run time of this electric blanket. As soon as we turn on the electric blanket, you can see that everything's getting warm, probably about 75 to 80 degrees. If we bring the thermal camera a little closer, we may be able to get it up to about 90 degrees. If you feel the blanket with your hand, it feels warm, not hot, but warm. So with about a minute 30, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the battery and check. We're about at 12.6 volts. That's enough voltage, let's keep it going. So it's holding temperature at about 80 degrees. Now I've got both sides of this blanket set to high. One's actually set to high at 10 and the other one's at nine. If I would have seen the one was set at nine, I would have set it to 10, but we'll just leave it for the rest of the test. So I'm just using the thermal camera to check to make sure that nothing's overheating. When I pass this camera over the cell phone, you'll see it's bright red. It's not overheating, it's just reflecting heat back. On the screen, I see a few flashes of 110 degrees. At about seven minutes in, we're at about 125 degrees. At about 10 minutes in, we're at about 12.3 volts. So at 12 volts, this is when the test is over because we do not want to damage the battery. And the temperature still seems to come in around 100 degrees. Of course, when you touch the blanket, it feels warm, not hot. Now at 20 minutes, let's check the voltage. We're getting pretty close to that 12 volt threshold. Well, let's keep this experiment going until the battery is a little bit below 12 volts. The temperature's still at about 90 degrees. So at a bit over 21 minutes, it's lower than 12 volts. So we'll shut everything down. If we subtract out our time that we use to test the battery, I'd say it's about 20 minutes of runtime. You know you'll be nice and cozy for about 20 minutes. And if you hook it up to a car battery, maybe an hour. Well, I hope you found the video useful. And if you have any thoughts, please leave the comments down below. And if you did find the video useful, or at least entertaining, please give the video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.